is this a great state or what? Sponsored by the Gaylord Pickens Museum, home of the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, featuring the new Picture Yourself exhibit. The University of Connecticut women's basketball team stormed through Tulsa last weekend, collecting their 97th win in a row. But today, Galen Culver has a story of an Oklahoma women's team that had a win streak of their own during their time and about a new book that tells their story. Family stories and faded headlines were her start. Lydia Reader's grandmother had a favorite brother who was basketball coach. One day she gave Lydia a folder full of old newspaper clippings. And said, this is a really good story. You might want to tell this story someday. Sam Babb hired on at Oklahoma Presbyterian College for Women as a psychology teacher and basketball coach. He was a one-legged preacher's kid from Comanche who'd never actually played the game himself. But he was a great judge of talent and he had one huge advantage. Oklahoma Presbyterian offered scholarships to the best basketball players in the state. It was their one chance to keep playing and to earn a free education. So when they got to school and they had heated rooms and hot running water, it was a luxury. Within a couple of years of his arrival, the Lady Cardinals started winning games. From 1931 to 34, they won 89 straight and two AAU national championships, playing most of their games against company women's teams, much older and more experienced. So they were about 16 to 19, and the women who played for the industrial teams, some of them were, you know, 10 years older, and they had been playing together for years. The team might have won, but the college lost, closing in 1933. The Lady Cardinals even played for Oklahoma City University for a season. The team used to hold reunions every few years, but their story faded for generations until that exchange of memories. She left it up to me. Yeah. Lydia had a chance to interview some of the last surviving teammates before they passed. Her grandmother was right. Those old clippings did make for a good story. In this case, a book she called The Dust Bowl Girls about a special time in Oklahoma history where one team was better than all the others. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what? Now,